Hi guys, my name is Diamond. Today we're gonna code infinite loops on Master AI. So let's get started. First, you open Chrome or whatever you have, and then Master AI dot AI. Let's go. I'm gonna go back on Labs. So where you get the infinite loop option is on chapter four NLP and you go on to while loops. Okay. And then at part two you get to see the infinite loop option. We go on to infinite loop and then here's where the infinite loop are. So I've already done the challenges. So when you did the challenges, it's not going to let you do them again. So I'm just going to go on the practice coding thing. So I always write the infinite loop in a notebook. So first you create a variable, which I will name cause equals the values. Um, let's set the value to 10. Next we go and we type in while cause and then we get the greater than sign in and then you can see in the video they put on the value five but we're gonna put it on zero so that it so that the numbers can like start from zero okay next it gives us a tab by itself we put on cause equals cause and then we do plus one after we can go on to line four and then it automatically gives us a tab as well we go on to the print statement print um number of cause you put a columns here and then you end the quotation marks and then you put a comma in just to say there's a variable coming so we put the variable cause inside and then we close the brackets next and um, we click on run and then here you go the infinite loop so it's starting from zero and it's going like so fast and it's going infinite if you do it on the the terminal screen it's gonna do it for like a little time limit but then if you do it on the virtual cause then it is gonna go like real infinite it's not gonna stop ever but caution make sure you have the button to stop it or it might even take all your computer battery out out so i can just stop it here okay and then it gives me exited signal so i uh, just to remember the infinite loop i always write it in a notebook so add a notebook so the while loops are a bit different but only if you change the while loops sign from less than to greater than you can see in the video that's the only thing you got to be careful of otherwise it makes your very own infinite loop so my favorite code is really infinite loops because you really get to look at the numbers going so fast and up to a trillion in the terminal screen so that was today's code and i'll see you next time bye